Hi everyone, Chris Natskin here with Superfoot System and welcome to Superfoot Stories. Stories from the life and times of Bill Superfoot Wallace. How are you, sir? I am fantastic. Excellent. Even better than last Even time. Even better last time. Even better last time. So we've been, you've been sharing some great stories about your point tournament career. And uh, during the break, you actually shared with me that you had a, uh, uh, an interesting um, uh, competition with a Japanese champion. You want yes. to share that with us? Uh, 1972, a gentleman, Takuki Mikami, mm -hmm. who was also a very prominent competitor in, in Japan, right. called me up and said, would you come down to New Orleans? 1972, I think it was March sometime, and do an exhibition match with Takuki Oishi, okay. who was at that time like three times national <clears throat> Japan uh, uh, karate champion. And I said, love to. So I go down there and I watch the tournament all day long, having a good time watching the tournament, having a good time. Then he says, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exhibition with Takuki Oishi and Bill Wallace. This is before it was Superfoot, right. with Bill Wallace. But I still had a good hook kick. So we bow in, we move around, he comes charging, I come in, we hit each other at the same time. No point. So he comes in, he comes in now. I have a really good counter hook kick if somebody tries to sweep me. So he comes in, sweeps my front leg. It's about this high. Then I just redirect it back into his face, stuck it about this far from his face and held it there. So he sweeps it back and I sweep the kick in and I stuck the kick right in his face. He backed up and bowed and walks off the deck. Now, you have to understand the Japanese philosophy. To him, this was Ippon. Right. Ippon means full point, yep. killing technique, the end. He felt it was a killing technique, the end. But it was an exhibition. Right. So I don't mind, we'll do some more. Come on, I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean it. Don't get it. <laughs> he said, oh, I don't. And he bowed in. And, we, and uh, Takuki Mikami explained it to the audience. They were going, what just happened? Maybe 30 seconds into the fight, it was over. So, wow. So, but actually, there's a real sign of respect. Yeah. I mean, because yeah. he was acknowledging that right. yeah. you got him. That made me wow. feel good. Wow, fantastic. And a really nice person. Yeah, excellent. Really good excellent. Wow. Honor. Honor. Yeah, honor. Very honor. Yeah. Beautiful. And, you know, and the, thing, the thing about it is, is the honor aspect of it, how, how, how I started in Okinawa. Yeah. And the funny thing is, Joe Lewis and I are the same system. Wow. Well, let's talk about Joe Lewis. Okay. So, you know, we obviously everyone knows Joe Lewis. He was a pioneer in, in martial arts yes, in the United was. States yeah. and, and a great friend of yours. So tell me a little bit about how you first met. Well, I met the USA Grand Nationals in 1968 in Kansas City, Missouri. And I'm over here working out, sparring a couple guys. And Joe Lewis walks over and says, who's Bill Wallace? And I said, I am. He says, you study in Okinawa? I said, yes, sir. He said, who did you study with? I said, Azo Shimabuku. He said, when? I said, I said, that was there 65, 66. Oh, hi. You know, shakes my hand. And you know how Joe liked to shake hands. He didn't. And I said, hello, sir. He says, my system's showing you. Azo Shimabuku was my instructor. I was there 62, 63, something like that. He was there a year and a half before I was there. And I went, wow, that's great. Did you know Tony Janek? Who? Tony Janek. Well, I don't know. Maybe, I, you know, because maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Yeah. But he was my instructor also when I got back to, the, right. back to San Bernardino. Right. He said, wow. And that's when we talked. And, and in 68 is a tournament. Joe is the defending champion. Okay. I win my division. Artie Simmons wins his division. Victor Moore wins his division. And... Uh, the, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's from Nebraska. Good fighter, German kid, USK. I'm the only non-USK guy there. So what happens is I have to fight Artie Simmons. No, no, my first match is with Victor Moore. Okay. I fight Victor Moore, drop him with a sidekick, so I win the fight. Artie Simmons fights somebody, beats him. He wins. Joe Lewis takes uh, the guy from the brass damn near kills him. So there's four of us left. So I beat Artie, I fight Artie Simmons. Now Artie Simmons is USK all the way. But I'm not at that time. So he scores, I hit him with a couple of roundhouse kicks to the head, no point, no point, no point. He throws a reverse punch about this far from my chest and scored. So anyway, the rules were at the tournament. Joe Lewis is the defending champion. He's going to fight the first third and fourth place winners. Okay. 
I beat Skip. I beat uh, uh, Victor Moore. Joe beats the other guy, so I'm fighting for first and second to see who fights Joe. Fight Artie Simmons. I hit him a couple times, but no tornado don't call it. Then he throws a reverse punch and it scores. Again, that's the that's the point tournament for you. And then they announce who's going to fight Joe for the grand championship. We're going to fight the fir the third, the fourth place winner, and the first place winner. Excuse me. I'm the second place winner. Why don't I get to fight Joe? Yeah. Not that I want to, <laughs> but why don't I get to? Oh, because that's just the way we have it set up. I went, wow. Shucks. <laughs> Good thing. But anyway, his first match is with, with Victor Moore. And we've all read matches about how Victor was this and Victor, you know, anyway, let me tell you the truth. Victor and Joe square off. Joe had just gotten married. So Victor walks over in front of everybody, tries to pull Joe's wedding ring off. He tried to pull it off. Tried himself. to pull it off. So he's like, I don't want you using that ring because Joe doesn't throw punches to the face, he throws them to the body. Right? So he pushed him, get away here. So they bowed in, and Victor runs across, punches Joe in the mouth. Before he could pull his hand back, Joe grabs him, throws him, beautiful technique to the ground, and he's in a perfect Zinkutsu Dachi forward stance, going boom, 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 boom. Must have been eight or nine of them. Eight or nine of them. They finally grab Joe, pull him off of him. The funny thing is, Victor Moore goes and grabs a chair and comes at Joe, and he finally grabbed Victor. But I mean, his face by that time is swelled up like a watermelon. They break them all up, blah, 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 blah. they bow back in, and Joe just creams him the rest of the time. Wow. So, and then Joe fought Artie Simmons and scored real easy on him. But I would have loved to fight him yeah. that time. But we met and we became friends. Okay, very good, very good. Friendship that went decades. Yep, went forever. Yeah, very good. Forever, very good. But yeah, it was fun, so. Excellent. Maybe it's better than, you know, the funny thing is in all this, I want everybody to think about this. Throughout your life, we're given choices. Mm. Sometimes we're allowed to make that choice. Sometimes that choice is made for us. And up to this point right now, to this point, all of my choices in martial arts have been fantastic. Not that I made all of them right, yeah. but it just happened that way for me. Yeah. Well, I think I know where you're going with this, sir, so what I'd like to do is break right here because I think there's a, a choice you made when Joe Lewis reached out to you in 1974. He didn't reach out to me, he ordered me. Okay, all right, we're going to get into that story. So everyone, stay tuned next month. We're going to talk a little bit more about Bill Superfoot Wallace's history and how he made the transition from point fighting to full contact karate. So this has been Chris Natsky with Superfoot Systems, and we'll see you next time on Superfoot Stories.